graphing in slope-intercept form. Remember, for slope-intercept form, the y has to be alone. The equation is y equals mx plus b. m stands for our slope, which is our rise over our run. And it tells us where to move. So m stands for move. Now we know that b is our y-intercept, and our y-intercept is where we start. So it's where we begin, our y-intercept. All right, so if it says y equals mx plus b and the y is alone, we are ready to graph. The problem is, it's not always going to be alone. We're going to have something like this. So our goal now is to get the y alone. So how do we do that? Remember, if I'm trying to get the y alone, I'm trying to get rid of anything else that's there. If this just said 4, then I would get rid of it by subtracting 4 to both sides. However, it says 4x, but we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to subtract 4x's from both sides. Now, 4x's minus 4x's, that's 0x's. It goes away. Now, we cannot add a negative 12 and a negative 4x. That would be pink underwear. And we want it to look like this, so our x's is going to be first and our loner number afterwards. So that means I'm going to put my negative 4x first and then my negative 12 here, and I bring down my negative 3y. That's what's left over. All right, now remember, think of it in terms like we did with our x, but now we're trying to get the y alone. So we're going to get rid of the attached number by dividing by negative 3. That means we have to divide everything on the other side as well by negative 3. Remember, it's both sides of the equation, but you have more than one thing over here. So basically, everything now is going to be divided by 3. All right, so we divide by our negative 3. These cancel out. I'm left with y is alone. Yay! Negative 4 divided by negative 3. Okay, first of all, we want a fraction. Remember, we want to rise over run. And a negative divided by a negative would give us a positive. So 4 thirds, that's my slope, x. And a negative divided by a negative, again a positive, so plus 4. Okay, now on your graph paper, which is all pretty and perfect, you would now start with the loader number. You're going to start or begin with positive 4. So on your graph paper, positive 4, that would be your first beginning point, right? Your y-intercept. And then my slope is positive 4, rise, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and a positive 3 run, 1, 2, 3. So my next point is going to be right here, 4, 3. And now I'm going to use my ruler, and I'm going to connect these points with a nice straight line, go through the points, and put arrows on the end to sketch my graph. Easy as that. And remember, you know you love math.